Is this Snoogle pregnancy pillow the best pregnancy pillow on Amazon? Keep watching to find out. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. When filming this video, I'm currently 27 weeks pregnant with my first baby. And if you don't know, after about 20 weeks of pregnancy, you're not supposed to sleep on your back anymore. Now, I am a huge back sleeper, so this has been a really big adjustment for me. Until about my fourth month of pregnancy, I really didn't need a lot of support whenever I was sleeping. So I was just using a wedge pregnancy pillow in between my knees. I will do a review on that pillow later but a little after that I started to feel like I needed a lot more support whenever I was sleeping I have actually had this snoogle pregnancy pillow up in my closet not being used for years several years ago my massage therapist recommended that I get one because I was having a lot of problems with my sciatic nerve pain but I just didn't really like sleeping with it so it's been sitting up at the top of my closet being unused for several years and a little bit into my fourth month when I started feeling like I needed a little bit more support whenever I was sleeping I decided to bust it back out and give it another try. Today I'm sharing my review of this pregnancy pillow along with the pros, the cons, and if I think it's worth the money. This pillow along with the other products that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description so if you see something you want to grab for yourself click down below to get it. First off, in my reviews, I always like to start out talking about the price. This Leech Co. Snoogle Pregnancy Pillow will cost you about $60 on Amazon. So it's about a mid-range price for pregnancy pillows. I've seen the lower end at about $40 and the higher end at about $80. And I've also seen some other ones at like Nordstrom or other high-end stores that will cost up to $100. So I'd say it's about mid-range. It is a C-shaped pregnancy pillow. So there are pretty much about three different types of pregnancy pillows out there on the market right now. The first one is a wedge pregnancy pillow. This is the kind that I was using before that just felt like it wasn't providing me enough support whenever I was sleeping and I kept waking up on my back so it didn't provide me any back support. The second type of pregnancy pillow is the C-shaped pillow. So it's going to line you on one side, either your back or your belly and provide support on that side and then is usually going to wrap around your neck and then you can tuck it between your knees as well. So this new goal is a C-shaped pillow. Then there is the U-shaped pregnancy pillow and that kind of pillow provides support on both sides. So it will wrap around you and no matter which way you turn, you have support on your belly or on your stomach and on your back at the same time. Now I did try out one of these U-shaped pregnancy pillows, but I honestly didn't like it. It was really huge and even though I'm somebody who's always freezing and sleeps with a ton of blankets I woke up in the middle of the night and was just way too hot because I felt completely surrounded by the u-shaped pillow so I really do like the C shape of the snoogle next let's talk about sleeping positions there are two sleeping positions that you can sleep in with the snoogle pillow the first one is called back to back and that one is where you lie with your back against the long side of the pillow Part of it is going to drape over your neck and you're going to rest your head on it and then you can tuck the bottom portion between your knees. This sleeping position provides a lot of back support. That is what I was really needing whenever I was sleeping with the wedge pillow. I felt like I didn't have enough support on my back and I felt like I would sleep better if I had that support. Also, since you are tucking the bottom part of the pillow between your knees, it's going to provide you hip support and keep your hips aligned and also give you some support between your knees. That way your knees aren't sore from sitting together all night long. The other sleeping position Position is called the belly basic and that is where you sleep with your belly up against the long part of the pillow so this can provide some belly support if you want to tuck that underneath your belly I honestly don't do that whenever I sleep like this I just kind of like to hug it so you are sleeping facing the long side of the pillow the top part of the pillow is going to be draped along your back side you can give it a little bit of a hug when I sleep in this position I usually wrap both arms around it and sleep like I'm hugging it and then you can place your knees on the bottom part of the pillow. I also usually tuck the bottom part of the pillow 
or in this position you can leave it out a little bit straighter and put that between your ankles as well so this is again providing support and alignment for your hips and for your ankles if you want that support and then can give you belly support if you want to tuck it underneath your belly a little bit like I said, the back to back is my favorite position to sleep in, but I do sleep in both positions because I don't like to have to wrangle the pillow in the middle of the night. So I usually start off sleeping in the back to back position. And then when I wake up in the middle of the night, I will switch to the other position. And if I wake up one more time, I will flip back because I don't want to have to deal with flipping the pillow back and forth in the middle of the night. That's just a pain. I would rather just turn myself and and I'm pretty comfortable in both positions. So a huge pro with this pillow for me is that I sleep like a baby. Like I mentioned earlier with that wedge pillow, I kept waking up on my back in the middle of the night. That's just my tendency. I am a back sleeper. So I kept waking up on my back and it was actually very uncomfortable. I could feel the baby and everything else inside of my stomach pressing down every time that I woke up and it just wasn't a comfortable feeling. I think that has a lot to do with when I sleep with it lined down my back. There's just nowhere else to go and I don't feel the need to toss and turn in the middle of the night. I was also waking up way more in the middle of the night before I started using this pillow. I don't know if it was just because I was uncomfortable or I didn't have enough support, but since I have been sleeping with this pillow, I have been sleeping much deeper and sleeping much longer hours before I wake up. When I started sleeping with this pillow, my husband commented that he had woken up in the middle of the night and he saw how soundly I was sleeping he said I looked like a koala because I was just hugging the pillow and sleeping so, so soundly. Another pro I like about this pillow is it's very supportive. Like I said, I was sleeping with a wedge pillow before I needed a lot of support. And as I continued to get further along in my pregnancy, I just felt like I needed that extra support, especially on my back. So that's why the back to back is my favorite sleeping position because it just lines your back and gives you so much more support than if you were not sleeping with anything up against your back. It also is giving you hip support and keeping your hips aligned. If you sleep on your side without something between your knees your hips can get out of alignment and it's just a lot more uncomfortable I've found that since I have been pregnant and sleeping on my side I do have to have something between my knees to give my hips more support it's just a more neutral position for your hips and it feels a lot better and if you're sleeping on your side without something in between your knees your knees can get sore as well in the middle of the night and like I said this pillow can also support your belly too if you feel like your belly needs a little bit of support you can tuck it up underneath your belly when you are sleeping in the belly basic position I haven't gotten to that point in my pregnancy yet where I feel like I need something underneath my belly Another pro along with that is the hip alignment and knee support. Whichever way you do choose to sleep with this pillow, you put it between your knees in order to keep your hips in line and give you more support. Another pro with this is that you only need one pillow to sleep with. I've seen lots of women talking online about how they would configure a bunch of different pillows in order to get comfortable at night. You need one underneath your head, you need one between your knees, you need one along your back, maybe one underneath your bump. The great thing about this pillow is that you get all the support that you need in one pillow. So you're not having to set up a million different pillows in order to get comfortable to sleep at night. Now, one con with this pillow is that it does take up a lot of space. Originally, when I bought this pillow years ago to help with my sciatic nerve pain, that is actually why I stopped using the pillow. I felt like it was just way too huge and awkward and felt really weird. At the time of buying this pillow, we were in a queen size bed and so I just felt like this pillow took up too much room in our bed. No matter which way you put it, if you put it on the outside or if you put it on the inside, it is going to take up a lot of room and sometimes it does feel kind of awkward if you put it in the middle between you and your partner. I saw one Amazon review where a husband called it the great pregnancy wall. Um, so it just kind of like blocks you off from your partner if you put it there. And that is why I chose not to use it before I was pregnant unless I was in a lot of pain from my sciatic nerve. But once I was about four months pregnant, I just really needed to sleep and I decided to bust it out again. We do have a king size bed now, so I don't feel like it takes up 
too much space, but it is still pretty large to have in your bed. Like I said, I don't really like to sleep with it in the middle of the bed between my husband and I. I like to sleep with it on the outside. I feel like it's just not blocking him off as much as it would be the other way. So one thing to think about with this is if you do choose to sleep with it on the outside or the edge of the bed, it can cause you some problems getting out of bed in the middle of the night. You either have to kind of like hurdle yourself over it to get out of bed or another thing that I do sometimes is I grab the bottom of the pillow and I kind of twist it up at the top so that I can get out of bed a little bit easier. It just depends on what I feel like doing in the middle of the night. One other con for me with this pillow is that it is kind of thick. Now this I think is a personal preference thing. I haven't seen a lot of people online talking about how thick it is and to me the place where the thickness really bothered me was on my neck where my head is resting. I like to sleep with a very thick Thin pillow. That's just how I have always been. I don't want a very thick pillow. And because I was used to such a thin pillow, having a pillow with so much padding on my neck was kind of cocking my neck in the middle of the night and it was causing a lot of pain in my neck. After I was sleeping with it for several weeks, it was causing a lot more pain and I had considered not sleeping with it, but I was sleeping so well with it in the middle of the night that it was worth it to me to kind of deal with it. I had also considered trying some other pregnancy pillows to see if I could find one that was not quite as thick, but they all seemed to be about the same thickness. And the only other one that I found online where I could adjust the thickness of the neck support on the pillow was the U-shaped pillow that I found that I had to return because it was just too big of a pillow and it made me too hot in the middle of the night. So because of that, I did take matters into my own hands with this pillow. The U-shaped pillow that I tried had a zipper on it at the top of the pillow where you could actually reach in and remove the memory foam that was in the pillow. This Snugo pillow has the like regular pillow filling in it. It's not memory foam, but I took the idea from that other pillow and I decided to take out some of the stuffing in the pillow. I just ended up cutting a slit in the top of the pillow big enough for me to reach in and grab the stuffing out of the top part of the pillow wherever my neck is. So I took as much out as I felt like I needed and then I just quickly sewed it back up. It's not the most beautiful sewing job but when you put the cover on it you can't really tell and it did the trick and I sleep a lot better at night because of it. The rest of the pillow is not too thick. It's a good thickness to give you enough hip support and support throughout the rest of your body but for me it was just too thick along the neck. So like I said this is a personal preference thing and I don't think that most people will have an issue with it. But if you're like me and like less stuffing around your neck, that is a quick fix that you can use. One thing to keep in mind with this pillow is that you're probably going to want to buy a different pillow cover. The pillow does come with a snoogle cover with it whenever you buy it, but it is a pain in the butt to get on and off. In order to put it on the pillow, you have to snake the entire pillow through the cover in order to get it on. And this is a long pillow. It was hurting my hands and giving me a lot of trouble when doing this. So I honestly avoided taking off and washing the cover a lot of the time. So that started to really bother me and there are a lot of different covers on Amazon that you can buy. You want to get one with a zipper along the back. That way you can slip in the pillow and then just zip it up. The one that I bought is a jersey stretch material so it slides into the pillow nice and easily and the zipper along the back is really long so it gives you a lot of space to slide the pillow in and you're not having to wrangle the pillow to get it into the cover. I ended up buying two, that way I have one to wash and one to use. While this pillow is a little bit of a bed hog, I think it is totally essential. I sleep so much better with this pillow now that I'm not tossing and turning all night. 
and I feel like I sleep so soundly because of the support that it gives me while I'm sleeping. In my opinion, this pillow is not only worth the money, but it's also a pregnancy must have. For more in-depth reviews on products I can't live without, click right here for my review playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.